Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about how to write a Python program that takes list of numbers as an input from the user and produces a cumulative list. The cumulative list where each element in the list at any position n is the sum of all the elements at position up to n minus 1. So problem is very simple. So given a input list of numbers, so you have to generate a cumulative list based on the condition that is sum of elements up to n minus 1. So let's take a input list as sample that is let's say 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is our sample input list. So you have to generate the y that is a list. So that is cumulative list that is sum of up to n minus 1. So the first element will be 0 because let's take 0 here and you have the nothing over here up to n. So this will generally be 0. So now let's take the index as 1. So value will be 2. So n minus 1 elements will be this that is 1. So let's give 1 over here. So now let's take the index as 2. The value will be 3. So here if you try to calculate that is a sum of n minus 1 element is 1 and 2. So that is 1 plus 2 is 3. So now let's take the index as 3 and value is 4. So n minus 1 element is 1 plus 2 plus 3 that will be 6. And let's take 5 that is value is 5 and index position is 4 that is n equals to 4 and here n minus 1 element is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the sum of these elements will give you the 10. So this is the method to generate a cumulative list. So let's try to code this using the Python. So first let's take a input list from the user so by taking the length so let's take variable that is a length equals to ask a user to input it so let's say enter list length once the user enters it will be of string format we need to convert this into int using type conversion so once we get the length, so let's take a empty list, my list equals to the empty. So once we get the empty list, we have to fill it. So for index in range of length. So what you have to do is you have to ask a user to enter the each of the list element so element let's take temporary variable element and let's use input function call and ask a user to enter list item so we need to convert these to again int using type conversion so once we get each and every element from the user using for loop so let's try to append the my list to append the list let's use my list plus equals to the element in a square braces so this is the complete code to get the list into a program so once we get the list into a program so let's use or let's take another list variable Let's use cumulative list equals to an empty list and let's use for let's traverse the list again that is my list. I need index as well so let's use item index and as well as item in let's use enumerate. Enumerate my list. 
so we are traversing each and every element of my list and appending it to cumulative list so cumulative list plus equals to let's use string uh, list comprehension technique here let's use sum of my list so here what you have to do is you have to find the n minus 1 summation so to get that let's use colon and index so this is it so this is the code three line code to find the cumulative list to sum all the position elements up to n minus 1 so once we get the cumulative list let's try to print it that is cumulative list is let's give colon and let's use print so let's print the cumulative list also we can print the original list that is let me give my underscore list so this is a program to get the input list and as well as print the cumulative list. Let me run this program and show you how it works. So you can see enter the list length. So let's give 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can see that original list is this and cumulative list is this. So whatever we discussed earlier that is x and y values it is printing fine. So let me rerun this. Now let's give 7 as a input list. Let's give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So you can see that the cumulative list is this. So this is it. So this is the program to print the cumulative list. So that's it for today. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.